Robert Fritz's Structural Consulting Channel. What this is. We present full structural consultations, ones that change people's lives. The idea behind this channel is for you to witness a completely different understanding of the human condition. Here are a few things to know. Structural consulting is not therapy. It is an exploration of the underlying structures in the client's life that produces predictable patterns of behavior. What is structure? Structure is a combination of elements that impact each other. In these sessions, the client's structures are a combination of what they want to create, how reality actually is, and the various concepts that they have. The concepts clients have are usually hidden from them, but these concepts have impact in influencing the client's life patterns. A change of structure will cause a change of the client's patterns. The principle. The underlying structure of anything will determine its behavior. The process involves seeing the actual patterns in the client's life, which leads to a better understanding of the client's underlying structure. The sessions last between one or two hours. We suggest that if you do decide to watch them, do so when you have time to see the entire process. If you want to see more structure consultations, subscribe to the channel. And here is the session. Okay, what would you like to talk about? I would like to talk about my um, intention, desire of creating something that has an impact in my field, which is the sustainability regenerational field. And the fact that I've tried it for years and I've never got to where I would like to, and I always feel I'm behind. Mm -hmm. And I see there is a lot of oscillating patterns there. Yeah. Why do you, why do you want to do that? Why do I want to do that? Because, because I love, um, I love seeing the possibilities of what we can be as a society differently than what we are. And I love the planet. I love nature. And I want to find the ways that we can create a better collaboration together. Well, you say you love that. My question is, why do you want to do that? And I because I would think... like to see the, I would like to be engaged to see the results, to would see you... what's happening. Let me ask you a, a, this a different way. You would love to see it done. Why does it matter to you that you're one of the people doing it? Um, yes, it does. Yes. Why? <laughs> oh, why? Sorry. <laughs> why you? In other why words. me? Because, yeah. I, because I feel connected to it, because I love it, because um, as since as a kid, I've been in, living part in nature, part in the city, and I, I honor that, you know, that connection, and, and I want to see, I want to be part of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have not been able to do that, you say? Uh, just in, in, you know, on the tangents, just on the side, on the margins. Yeah. yeah. Well, in looking at your pattern from the story that you sent me, can we go through it with another story, a different one than the one you sent me, just to see if I've got it right? Yeah. Okay. Can, do you have a story in mind? Were you no. at the beginning? You set out for something and you had it for a while and at the end you no longer had it. Um, they are a bit different, I think. Well, don't try to fit it in. Just tell me, just let me know you've got the story in mind. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You had a desire. Yeah. Did you have an idea about the approach to it? Yeah. Did you try it out first for yourself? Mm, no. Did you seek uh, credibility and deeper knowledge? No. Okay. 
um, did you invest in learning? No, not for this story, no. Okay, tell me the story. Uh, the story is, um, yeah, it's a bit different because I went, I went for a job. Yeah, I went for a job. Okay, wait, all right. On okay. my area, on sustainability, and I just jump in and what's and I what, had to, yeah okay, well, then what happened and then I worked for a couple of years no, 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 no you start with wanting a job yeah and then what happened next oh and then I I find I look for job opportunities I find one that I like okay. I apply for it okay wait wait Okay, what happened in that search for the job? Did you said you found one? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Okay, then what happened? I applied and I got on the selective process until I passed through all the stages and I was selected. Wait a second, I'm somehow in the wrong thing here. I don't know what happened to my note thing here, but I'm going to start again because it's completely wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, this is our, and then you look for a job. And then you found one. And then you say you satisfied the various uh, requirements or something? Is that what you said? Yeah, I, I went through all the stages, the selective stages, and I was selected. Mm -hmm. Okay, what happened then? And then I had to dance with the music, learn how things work there, and and try my best to fulfill their what they wanted. Lots of successes and wait, wait a second. I want one thing at a time. Okay. Um Okay, okay, and wait a second. Okay. Okay, then what happened? And then I start questioning if I should be there, if this really satisfies me. Yeah, okay. So the rest of it is you, had, you moved to the next step, you had doubts, you rethought your involvement, things got more complicated and you stopped. Yeah, actually, I, I created a very good way for me to get out of the job in a way that wasn't problematic. Yeah, and you, but you gave up in despair. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So try a different story now. Um, okay. Okay, you had a desire? Yeah. You look for opportunities? Yeah. You found one? Yeah. You applied? Mm-hmm. You went through the various steps you needed to go through? In this case, they were they already decided for me, but anyway, yeah. I didn't have um, to. You, and you, you, so you got involved? Yeah. You followed the requirements? Yeah. You had lots of success? Yeah. 
Then you had doubts. Yeah. You rethought your involvement. Yeah. Things got more complicated. Mm -hmm. And then um, you stopped and gave up in despair. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think I have your pattern. <laughs> <laughs> Can you go to that first story you sent me? Yeah. And think about it. Okay. So I just wanted to see if that also fits the pattern. You had a desire. Yeah. You look for opportunities. Yeah. You found one. Mm -hmm. You applied. I didn't apply because I was an entrepreneur. You did so. apply. You invested in learning. You said, oh, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I read the story. Um, and you got involved. Yeah. And you followed the requirements and had some success. Yeah. And then uh, you moved to the next step and mm -hmm. had doubts and yeah. thought involvement and things got more complicated and then you stopped. And, you yeah. know, in, in the first, what you had sent me the first time actually has a repeat sign. As, in other words, you went and did it three times, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> and like in music, that would be a repeat, you know. Yeah. You're beginning again. You play the same. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again now. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about what you think your job is in relationship to the various things that you try to do. Mm. Um, my job is to it's, it's kind of like I, sh I navigate through territories that people don't know and no one has the answers and I help to find the paths and to build the basis of a new thing and then yeah. I pass it on and why is that your job because... I mean, to what degree? Don't tell me how you love it and stuff like that. Because it, 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 I think there's a, in, as I'm looking at your pattern, it's more than being a fan. It's something that looks like it has a different kind of set of meaning, meaning to you. Yeah, I think um, I am weird. <laughs> and I don't fit in many proper conditions or things that people would know where to put me hmm. and but at the same time when they have something that they don't know what to do with then I can fit that yeah and my question is different than the one you're answering excuse me yeah my computer got unplugged here <laughs> So my question is different than the one you're answering. Okay. Uh, my question really is about how do you see your job in the whole thing? Like, what is your function? What is your mission? What is your purpose? And all of that. Um, to help on the transition to something different. Yeah, you want to do good work. I understand that. And what would happen if in your life you didn't get to do good work at all? And that was, would that be okay or not okay? Ah, um, oh, no, no. I, I have a very strong desire to, to be in service. I, I do have a, an issue with my own self-worth that if I'm not, you know, <laughs> uh, providing something functional and useful, I don't have a... Um, I use, I don't have a place. Mm -hmm. Why not? Um, Think it through now. Don't just give, give me, you know, because this is new, probably uh, new territory for you to think through. So what's with you that you have to really do? Uh, good because I think that then life makes no sense. In what way? Um somehow we should be getting results or producing all, or all of us eating some 
um, most of us. <laughs> why is it, why do we have to do that? <laughs> uh, because otherwise it's boring. <laughs> I don't know. Well, if it's, what's wrong with it being boring? If it is, oh, then I don't I don't know how to be without doing anything or. Yeah, but you're also not thinking it through. You know, you, you stopped a couple of minutes, moments ago. And uh, so how come, I mean, is it more you than everybody else or is it everybody? I mean, is this like a social ideal that you have for everybody? Oh, I do have a, a burden. Like I do have a, a greater responsibility, a sense of a greater you. responsibility. Yes. Yeah. Like I don't have to do that, right? No, you can do if you want. <laughs> okay, but you have to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm glad I'm free. <laughs> Too bad yeah, about you. you. <laughs> <laughs> what what kind of do you have an idea of what kind of job it is? I know you you tend to be gravitate toward environmental things and helping people and so on. What kind of job do, do I, what, what is the question? Um, is there a specific way that you need to be of use to people or does it matter as long as you're of use? Um, no, in, in this concept, it the specific way is more what I want, I think but I have to be of use. But if I'm using anything, I might yeah, lose yeah. my energy very soon. And if I'm used on the things that I like or I'm interested in, then I have more energy or... Mm. Well, that's not quite true because in your pattern, at first you have energy, but then things get complicated and you lose, you have a crisis of faith yeah yeah every single yeah. time yeah because what you what you're doing in your pattern is you're looking for the it you know oh yes. this is it yes and it never turns out to be it yes yeah so it has a job to be the right candidate for you to fulfill being of help or usefulness or a purpose or you know, yes So why? So okay. So what I have to do is something very significant. Why? Uh, because otherwise I am insignificant. <laughs> so what? <laughs> so what? Uh, it's desperating. <laughs> Hmm. Why do I have to be significant? Hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that's so much about you have to be significant. And we're looking at your pattern. I think it has more to do with your life has to have significance versus you have to have significance. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So this is more, I think, on the lines of what you think you have to do in life to accomplish in life yeah for, for your life to have meaning yeah and if you yeah, didn't but otherwise it feels like i'm wasting i'm wasting the opportunity you haven't of... found yet yet <laughs> 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 if only it would come you could really dedicate yourself to it and everything would be fine yeah <laughs> First of all, the bad news is there's no it. Mm. Is, is it true that there's no real it, even though um, you kind of invest yourself in getting excited about something and then being disappointed later. Mm. 
Yeah, it's it makes sense. It's still a little bit hard for me to accept it. Well, don't accept it. Look around, observe, do a very objective evaluation of how things really are and what your motivation has been and see if that statement is accurate. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So what if you didn't accomplish the great work in your life? Then I feel like life hasn't been fulfilled. I feel frustration. I feel I feel just like I'm half of what I could be. Why do you have to be all of, all of what you could be? Why is, what's that about? I think it's about the feeling of pleasure, of feeling great. Yeah. So I want you to really think this through and see the, the implication of what you just said. Mm. that you have to use all of your talents all of your gifts whatever they are all of your energy on behalf of something important mm -hmm. and the to do less than that somehow you would feel as something that you weren't living up to what you should be is, is that correct yes why do you have to live up to anything i want you to really consider this question and think it through even though it's contradictory contradictory to everything you've ever thought <laughs> mm. <laughs> why do you have to live up to anything It feels like there is something chasing me. That doesn't answer the question. In a way, all you're doing is reporting to me the reaction you have to the thought versus thinking it through and seeing if you can answer the question, why do you have to live up to anything? I think because I, I saw the examples around me, like my dad or my grandmother, and and I liked it, what they they were. So why do you have to do what they did? See, the question is not preference. The question is about obligation. And mm. the difference is, if it were just preference, you could either take it or leave it. Mm. And there'd no be no reaction one way or the other, because it would be preference. You know, yeah. like asparagus. I don't like asparagus, you know, it's it's preference. Mm -hmm. There's no reaction to one or the other. Okay. You know, it's interesting to you know um, my two rubber band thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because in your pattern, what you do is you find something that you think is it. You get real excited about it. Mm -hmm. And then you dive in, you do whatever you can to really master it and do whatever is required. And you get to a point where you actually are having success with it. Mm -hmm. And at that point is when you start to have doubts and whether or not this is the right thing and then things get more complicated and it's pretty much downhill from there mm -hmm. and you could just imagine with those two rubber bands you get to this point 
And the tension on this rubber band is more, of course, is really stretched and the tension on this rubber band is resolved with that success. And that's the point where you start to have doubts about whether it's it and whether it really fulfills the requirement of you living up to whatever you think you have to live up to. Mm -hmm. And that's, that is the pattern, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. definitely. Okay. So what our job is, is to find out how come that pattern exists. Yeah. Um, so on this side of the rubber band, it's like, I have to do something really significant and different and unique that has an impact and That's helps right. people and the planet. That's right. Whenever I start moving, nothing. No, no is it's, it's even worse than that. <laughs> when you start having success with that, you reevaluate it and it never lives up to its promise. Yes, yes. So you're measuring this against the concept. Exactly. Never, never can live up, by the way. No. That's why I said there's no it. You know, you can never. Yeah. With this, whatever this is, it's impossible to live to to find it and live up to it. Yeah. And you've tried so many times and it just doesn't yeah. work. But the question is about the concept. Of, you know, which with you that you have to live up to anything. I think maybe I am very scared that there is no no bigger sense or um purpose or something so yeah I want it to be something why great would that be, why would that be scary if it just is you living and that's that <laughs> <laughs> because then I think what comes to me is that then it doesn't make, make sense to be alive then it better to die or something like that Oh, really? <laughs> so you can't just go hang out on the beach or something and enjoy yourself? A little bit. Just <laughs> yeah, a little bit as long as you paid for it, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, I think the the fear that if there isn't, if there isn't their thing or their purpose, their whatever, then I have to figure it out all alone and I have to take all the responsibility. Oh, well, let's figure it out together. If you had a real purpose, wouldn't you know? Because it'd be your purpose. So wouldn't you already know it? You wouldn't have to search for it, would you? Yes, but I have the sense of a call of call which I don't know if it's that or not. But so if I you don't... had a real calling, you know what the calling is. That's what a calling is. But I know what my calling is. No, I've you told don't. You. No, 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 you don't know what your calling I is. I have a you... sense of it, but when I no, get... No, 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 you don't have a sense of it. You have a concept of it, which is different than having a sense of it. And if it were a real calling, you wouldn't have anxiety about not doing it either mm. what is the uh, implication of that idea that i just presented to you that i wouldn't have anxiety if i had a real calling yeah because you'd know what it was and there'd be no question and you wouldn't have to struggle and go search for it or anything yeah that's yeah i mean some people have a calling like for music or something and they've always they always know that it's music or something or painting or not that many people have a calling but if you have one it's not necessarily your purpose in life it's just something that is uh, natural for you to pursue versus you have to search for it. Let me give you mm -hmm. an example. A silly one, but I'll give it to you anyway. <laughs> so here's Mozart as a little boy. He just doesn't know what he's supposed to do in life. Mm -hmm. and he's running around thinking, mm -hmm. well, 
um, should I be uh, making uh, furniture? Um, maybe I should uh, 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 make clothing. Uh, maybe uh, didn't I mean he always knew he was gonna. It was always music, right? Mm -hmm. He didn't have to think twice about it. You don't have that. Well, I do on the on the general sense that I want no, to. There is no general sense. You know, like I have a calling about something or other. <laughs> well, I do have a direction, but then what inside that? Listen so to what I just said. It can't be a real calling if it's a calling for something or other. I I do have some. What you do have is you have a concept. There, but you know, what you, yeah, you, you inside know what you do can have. be so many things. Well, it could be so many things, which means it's not a calling. Well, but there is a direction, which is no, the relationship. There's a, actually, there's a hope for a direction. And you connect the direction to justifying your existence, because if you didn't have that, you say, why should I even exist? Why should I live? Yeah. Yeah. I still feel I have a calling, Robert. <laughs> what is well, it? It's related to how we human beings relate to each other and the planet. And how can we create mm -hmm. other ways that are more in collaboration and alignment with what is, instead of always creating something that is actually um, in creating contrast and, and contradiction. So your calling is basically being anti-conflict and pro people getting along better. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's anti-conflict. I, I think conflict is part of, it, always going to be part, but I like to you're, find you're, the- You know what? You're, you're critical of how we are and you want it to be better. And however you describe the criticism you have about how it is, the motivation for it to be different is you don't think this is as good as what you would conceive of being better. Yeah. Hmm. So you're calling us to fix the world, fix the planet, fix people, fix us all. <laughs> um. You could say that, but I, I'm more like I'm, I'm in love with what can be that we are not. I've, it's the same. It's a missed opportunity. I see. What's how... wrong with missing? What's wrong with missing opportunities? Now, when you're thinking about this question, this is a similar question to why do you have to use all your talents and gifts and so on? Because um, it, the concept that you have or m concepts that you have around the notion that you've got to use what you've got and make the best yeah. things. And I'm asking you a question you've never asked yourself before, which is why? Why do you have to do that? Because I don't like waste. <laughs> wrong with waste how is it waste actually how is it waste it's waste when something is not on the where it, it could be in one place it's waste how or is that waste how is that waste It, um, how is that waste? It's it's causing problem. Something is causing problems where it, it why it actually could be you know being used for something. Let's say you could go to the movies and see a great movie, but you didn't happen to go. Is that a waste? 
Mm. No. So how's that any how is it any different that if there's opportunities and you don't partake of them? I think there is is different when it's causing, you know, causing problems. <laughs> well, would it be a problem if you didn't do anything in life and you just kind of hung around? Wouldn't that be the same as not going to the movie? I mean, it's not causing a problem. Well, it depends if my nature. No, no, I want you to. I want you to listen to the way I'm looking at your structure and describing elements and taking away all of your arguments that confuse you. Because somehow you keep tying it up where things are bad and got to make them right. You got to fix problems. You got to fix the, you know, whatever bad things human beings do. And by the way, it's your job to do it. So I gave give you this movie example. It's a great movie, but you don't go and see it. That's not a waste. Nothing bad happens because you didn't see the movie, right? Okay, so you don't do anything in life. You don't accomplish anything, no great things. You just kind of live your life. But if I want it? Not, it's not the question. Not the question, you know? It's not about... Because your idea of wanting something is not exactly the same as actually wanting something, because it's filled with obligation and mm. function. I'm trying to take away the function and the obligation, and so here we are with you hanging out on the beach mm -hmm. <laughs> in Tahiti, <laughs> and um, and you have a really good life. Is that a waste? No. Okay. What are you noticing? What? I'm not, it's hard to explain, but it's like If I wanted just to have that life, then it's great. Yeah, this the question is not about your your um, actual altruism, which you have. It's like your dynamic urge, but you confuse your dynamic urge with your concept of you have to, or you're obligated to. Yes. You know, create Def meaning and. <laughs> yeah 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 it's very much tied to that and if i am like away from that those emotions then i can rest and i can see i could have mm. a good life at the beach well, <laughs> you know those emotions though come from a concept they don't come from the emotions the emotions mm. are generated by an idea you have that you have to justify your existence by good works. Yeah. Okay, if you did good works, how would that justify your existence? <sighs> it's like I am in my place. How how's that? What place is that? A place to be of service. How does being of service justify your existence?
because I'm not allowed just to come here and have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> because I have to pay the price. Why? <laughs> uh, uh, What's with you that you've got? Do I have to pay the price or only you? You. Can I be, a, can I hang out on the beach? Is that okay with you? <laughs> <laughs> yes it's okay with okay. me <laughs> so it's something about you it's not to do with people in general it's you have to pay the price you have to you have to pay your price to exist you have to you can't just exist it's not okay for you just to live your life yeah you want to explain to me why it's not okay for you just to live your life what's coming is something like because life is all about suffering and <sighs> if, if you said life was about suffering and i've said if that were the case we'd only have sad music <laughs> no i don't believe that but somewhere i do <laughs> right? i i hadn't thought of that before on that way uh, that yeah, i had yeah. this but yeah. it seems i do well, do you know anything about what life is about at all in reality? Um, not really, no. Okay. So whatever you say about life is about this or that, you couldn't, it couldn't possibly be accurate given the real answer is you absolutely don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So... Do you still think, given that, that you have to somehow both suffer and pay your price, pay your dues to, to be able to live? Yeah. How does that work? Oh, it's so, it's so, it involves me so much that I can see a glimpse that it's not, but it, still i'm so involved in that well but the only uh, the glimpse you see is called reality <laughs> <laughs> and the other stuff isn't reality <laughs> so i want to kind of open up that glimpse because <laughs> okay. you know reality is real <laughs> and the stuff that you've got going on is not real it's you you it's concepts that you're holding on to yeah that i want you to think through test and see if you agree with them in reality i don't want to agree with them well that's not the question about whether you want to or not question is if you look at reality are those concepts accurate or not accurate not accurate okay so if they're not accurate why hold on to them like as if they were true um, just because they are in my body somehow. No, no, no. They're not no. in your body. <laughs> they're, in, they're an idea you have in your head that is so entrenched that you feel it physically when you're violating the concept, which, by the way, you can never, ever live up to anyway. Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <sighs> All right, so here's a here's a very simple question, and it's about reality. Is there anything in particular you have to accomplish in life? No, just live life. Whatever live life means. I don't know what that no. even means. <laughs> I'm looking for a yes or a no. Is there anything in life in particular you have to accomplish? Yes or no? <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We'll look at reality. 
in reality, if you don't know what life is about, how could you assert? Okay. That, that makes sense. Yeah. That, no. Okay. So in life, is there anything in particular you have to do? Yes or no? No. Okay. <laughs> I say no, but a strong yes. I know you're, you know, because your concept's trying to hold on. Yes. <laughs> you know, the closer you get to reality, the more it goes, no, 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 you have to really listen to me. Don't listen. <laughs> I'm like, no, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I know what's going on structurally is because it's so entrenched in you that you have to force yourself to see reality because otherwise your concept will automatically infiltrate your your head. Yeah. Have you always thought this, by the way, that you had to justify your existence and do good works and pay yeah. for your I, I, I can see patterns since very, very young, yeah. like four years old or something. Well, I certainly saw it in your pattern, by the way. When I did your pattern, and that's, I mean, it was so interesting to see how hard you would work to get the right approach and then get some degree of success from it. And then the moment you were successful, I mean, so structural, you know, like mechanical almost, like here you are at the wall and yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yesterday it happened again because I saw a new program and I'm having success with it. And then oh. I started having the, the praises and everything. And then I almost got sick. <laughs> my body started to feel it was going to pa to panic to faint whatever and then i had to yeah. stop it and say no there's nothing wrong <laughs> yeah well in the structure you've got a competing tension resolution system that's trying to resolve i mean just basically trying to resolve create equilibrium between two competing yeah things. and one is the reality and the desire and the other is the concept I want you to um, say this a couple of times and see, and look at, when you when you say it, look at reality and see if it's true or not true. There's nothing I have to do. Say it. There's nothing I have to do. And look at reality. Say it again and see if that statement's true or not true. Oh. There is nothing I have to do. Yeah, it is liberating. The things is that reality true? is just... A, is it true, though? Is it true? The question is not... Yes. So, yes. You, you know, the, the impact of it being liberated is incidental to whether or not it's true. It's like truth for truth's sake. You know, with, no matter how you felt about it, is it true? Yes. Hmm. Now, your concept throughout your life has been, there is something you have to do. Mm -hmm. And the, it's like the bitch of it is, you don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's something you have to do, but I can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> but in reality, do you have to justify your existence? No. Do you have to pay you for your ticket in life? No. Is it okay if you just live? Yes. Say those things, okay? Just to, in a way, you're teaching yourself reality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In reality, there's nothing I have to do. I don't have to pay my tickets to be in life. What is the other one? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it was something good, though. <laughs> There's nothing I have to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I don't have to pay my Now, ticket. let me ask you this other question. Is there any way, if you wanted to, that you could pay for your ticket in line? No. So, you know, here you are. Welcome to life. You're here. <laughs> you don't know why. <laughs> and you don't know if you have a job or not. And there's also, incidentally, things you, you actually do want to do. Yeah. But you probably do have interests in supporting people and helping society. Yeah. So, so on. But that's independent of the obligation to have to. Yeah. Yeah. What are the implications of understanding reality? Um, the implication is that I need to take responsibility to decide what is it that I want to do. Mm -hmm. Well, and you don't have to even do that since there's nothing you have to do. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't have to, but... Okay, listen. Your pattern, in your pattern, you look for it. Mm -hmm. And you're looking for the... It's as if there's this magic right thing. Yes. That's what I call the it in Shining Armor. You know, yes. the, there isn't an it. Now, there are things you might want to do, and they may be helpful, and they may not be helpful. But in the way you had approached it before is you were looking for a candidate to have to adopt. Mm -hmm. It's almost like if you believe the right things, everything will turn out the right way. In your case, it's not so much about belief. It's more about if you adopt the right approach, everything will turn out okay. Mm -hmm. so if you're looking at reality right now what are you seeing and looking at how you've lived your life up to this point and what might change from this point on mm -hmm. I might not do anything that I am doing. Could be. Um, I will look hmm. for how to understand what is it that I really want. <laughs> well, but if you don't happen to know, you don't have to force yourself to try to know. Yeah, that's true. I don't have to force myself. You know, you've been filling up the uh, vacuum with stuff. Mm -hmm. You stop filling it with stuff and you give yourself a break. You might discover maybe one or two things that you, you do matter to you, authentically matter to you. And not because of the hidden agenda of trying to justify your existence, but just because they matter to you because they matter to you. Yeah. For no other reasons, like art for art's sake, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And also the other thing I, I think is um, that I don't have to find, I don't have to figure it out. I can just go and do yeah. do the things and see where they take me. That's right. They don't have a job and you don't have a job. And you can actually explore the territory without yeah. any hidden agendas. And see, yeah. where they, see where they lead you know they might lead to interesting places or you try it out and after a while it's not so you not you're not so interested anymore yeah mm -hmm. <clears throat> how are we feeling by the way i'm just thinking are we are we done with the session yeah i'm sure so. you're disoriented by the way <laughs> yeah yes <laughs> <laughs> you know here is my <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But how how is it for you in terms of looking? How do you feel? What your life look like from this point of? I think it is in, in power, empowering and liberating. Mm -hmm. um, it 
it's fun as well to feel that I can play and explore more. Yeah, so much for suffering, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you feel free? Yeah, I feel like the, the monsters are still trying to grab me, but I, I feel, as I said, I see the window <laughs> where I can... Well, but if you stay in reality, they don't exist in reality. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing is, once you see that that's the reality, how are you going to not see that that's reality? If I'm blind, <laughs> and that's what well, the concepts do. <laughs> if you open your eyes and suddenly you can see, right? Yeah. <clears throat> in reality, is there anything you have to do in life? No. Isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Can you describe um, for people watching this what it was like going through this session? Um, it's um, oh, it's kind of a rebirth in a way. Mm. A lot of push and pull, um, but it feels like that. It feels like there is this opening where I can go and and rebirth in a way. Mm. yeah yeah like new lease on life sorry a new lease on life so to speak yeah yeah great okay anything else no not for the moment <laughs> okay <laughs> okay i'm going to uh stop the recording and then i'll say goodbye to you after it's stopped